Is one's life really only for oneself? I was born into the world frail of body. My grades weren't the best, and I was something of a coward. I had no place in school, and of course had no friends. With no reason to attend, I started staying home. In those days, my lack of confidence made me fear rejection from others. So I hid away, essentially rejecting them before I could be rejected. I grew pessimistic about the world, viewing it as this bland, boring thing. And that was when I met. Did you know capybaras run at 50 kilometers per hour? Come to school. Master Adam. Did you know dolphins drown if they sleep? Come to school. He made repeated uninvited trips to my residence, always full of bizarre animal trivia. Did you know a pig's physiology stops it from looking at the sky? Come to school. I kept rejecting him. Dogs can't take hot food as well as humans. Come to school. But no matter how bad the weather, or how coldly I treated him, Master never gave up on me. Did you know giraffes only need to sleep for about 20 minutes a day? Come to school. He kept trying. Time and time again. One day I asked him. Why go this far for me? How exactly do I put it? I can't leave you alone, you know? Hearing him say that saved me. He rescued me with his words. Did, did you just laugh? His actions. His smile.